The title of our study is an offering to God. And we are taking our main text from Genesis chapter 4. We start the reading from verse 3. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Says that these two people, the sons of Adam, Cain, the firstborn, and Abel, the second, in the process of time, they brought an offering unto God. And the scripture tells us that God had respect unto Abel and his offering. You see, God had respect for him and his offering. Not just him, but his offering. Telling us that God wants to have respect for us and our offering. In the case of Cain, it says God had not respect for Cain and his offering. And then Cain was angry and his countenance fell. So God is saying to us, will you bring an offering unto God that is acceptable? The Abel's offering was acceptable unto God, but Cain was not. And then God himself spoke to Cain in verse 6. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou doest well, Shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. So the Lord gave a second chance to Cain. The word of God came to him again and said, Cain, why are you angry with? Amen. If you do well, you shall be accepted. So God wants us to do well. Want to do, he wants us to do what is acceptable unto him. Amen did what was acceptable unto God. Then God had respect for Amen and also for his offering. So God want to receive us. But he's saying the way he can receive us is for us to do what is acceptable, to come the right way. That Abel came the right way, he was accepted. They both offered, gave an offering to God. One was accepted, one was not. Now the scripture holds the key for us why one was accepted and one was not accepted. And let's read that in Psalm, Psalm 40, verse 6 to 8. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. My ears has thou opened. Bond offering and sin offering has thou not required. Says that God in his word says that sacrifice and offerings he is not requiring that. He does not desire that. But 
he is wanting us to give our ears to him. He wants us to submit ourselves to him. And that is what God is asking for. Verse 7, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. You can see, it says that the Lord had respect unto Abel, because Abel had respect unto God. How? By taking to his word. By taking to the word of God. Even when God came to Cain again and said, Sin is lying at the door. And don't give him accommodation. Don't let him in. If you do well, you will be received. How can you do well? Let me in. I need you, Cain. Open the door of your heart so that I will come in. Amen. When I come in, then evil cannot enter you. Hmm. See, God don't want us to have our wickedness. Who is the wicked? The devil. And so that is why he's saying to us, we should submit ourselves. The offering God is looking for is you and me. Man. That is what he's looking for. Now he said, when we have done so, we can offer to him, for he also said we should give offering to his work and tithe. But then he would then accept us and accept our offering. See, Cain gave offering, but he was not accepted. The reason is because he did not give ears. His ears were not open to the word of God. He did not delight himself in the word of God. He did not keep the word of God in his heart. The psalmist says, oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. That is the first commandment. That is the offering God wants us to offer. You know, when someone look at this title, an offering to God, the mind will just run to sacrifice and offering money. But he says that sacrifice and offerings thou did not desire. Bond offerings and sin offering thou has no pleasure, does not require it. He require you and me. And that is the truth till today. And that is why it is there for us in the Bible that these two people, they were the only two human beings that was given birth to by Adam. And they were two manner of, of people. Cain was of the wicked one. He took in wicked, wickedness in his heart. And then God still spoke to him. He will not let God chase the wickedness from him. See, he, be, he, he said he's offering to God. He claimed that he belonged to God, but he was wicked. See, none of the wicked will understand. God does not want us to have a wickedness. What is wickedness? Satan, the devil. Now, saying that sin is lying at your door, knocking to enter. Don't let him in. I'm here to chase him out of you. I'm here to drive sin from you so that you'll be filled with the truth of God. You'll be filled with the power of God. So that's why God is speaking to us that he needs you and me to plant his word. Amen. That he's not interested in sacrifice and offering. They cannot take away sin. See how Hebrews spoke of it in Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 4 to 7, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Some preach message and say that everybody offered blood to take away sin. The scripture says it's not possible. What took away sin from everybody is the word. Amen. What was to take the sin away from Cain? The word. The, 
Cain resisted. He had in his heart. He didn't let the world enter. For there is only one remover. Hmm. The Lamb of God that can take away sin from us. Say, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats shall take away, should take away sins. There's no sacrifice you can offer that can take away sin from you. Verse 5, wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. Who came into the world? The word of God. Say so when Jesus was made flesh, he said, sacrifice and offerings thou wouldest not. A body thou hast prepared me. That is why he says, this is my body. Take all of you, eat it. They said, is this my going to kill himself and make us cannibal? He said, he's not speaking of the natural flesh. He's speaking of the infallible. He's speaking of the word of God that is able to remove sin from you. He's speaking of he that can cast out the devil from a human being. Okay. So the entrance of this word into you will cleanse you. Jesus warned. Say when an unclean spirit is cast out from a human being and he does not allow this deliverer to enter. He does not allow the word of God to enter. He said that unclean spirit will go and get seven more and come and occupy. And that person's condition will be worse than before. He will be religious quite well, but wicked. How? He will practice God in the flesh. See, you see, Cain was practicing God in the flesh. And so when he was not accepted, because God will not accept that, he was angry. That's why you see Pharisees were angry with Jesus Christ in the days of his flesh when he came. He says, sacrifice and offerings thou who does not, a body thou hast prepared me. You have to eat me. He said that if you don't eat him, we have no life in us. But sees in burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin, thou hast no pleasure. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Full volume. Don't choose some part of the Bible and say, I will do this, I won't do this. No, it says the whole of it is to be eating and you drink him. How? You turn to the truth of God and know fully well that it is Him you are to receive. You should submit to this word of God, is what He's saying to us. That the offering God is asking for is you. Say, body that has prepared me. He came to show us example how to do what is acceptable unto God. Say, when Jesus came into the world. He came in the full volume. Said the book enter him. Then he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news. What good news? The good news of the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God that brought good news in heaven. When he cast out the devil, the ancient serpent, he said, oh, heaven rejoice. Said this remover came to the earth to show us how to rejoice. That when the word of God enters you, joy enters you. Amen. When the word of God enters you, freedom enters you. Amen. That you'll be free indeed. And you know what? When the word of God enters you, God will accept you. Says he is not going to accept any other thing than Christ and Christ alone, that we are a spiritual house. We are to house God, then we can then offer what is acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Cain did not offer Christ, has nothing to offer. It may be. How did they make God the offering? He submitted to God. He had the word of God in him. And then when he presented himself, then God accepted him and his offering. 
Then that is what God is asking from us. He is asking us to offer ourselves to him because many of us are filled with ourselves. Mm. Religion has made us to be full of ourselves. Saying that God wants you to submit yourself so that he will empty you, then he will fill you with God. He will fill you with himself. He wanted to empty Cain of himself. Cain will not allow him. Please allow him to empty you. No matter what you do can never make you into the kingdom of God. Not possible. It is what God has done. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Now God says, submit yourself unto him. That is the message here more in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. That's what we are doing in this ministry. Present yourself, submit. He said you should submit yourself. Give up yourself. Let God empty you and fill you with God. With God, with his word. Amen. Then you'll be filled with the word of God. Then you'll be speaking of God. You will then present from your lips what is acceptable unto God. Not falsehood. Not religious hypocrisy. He told the Pharisees that you are brood of vipers, wicked people. If we are just in ourselves, no truth in us, that is wickedness. God came to deliver us from wickedness. The whole world is lying under wickedness. There is only one truth, the Bible. It says you should present yourselves as living sacrifice, all of us. And that is what is acceptable to God so that God will work the work of salvation in every one of us. He will transform us. That is why he says in verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What will he accept? He said that my ear has opened. That's what he accepts. That this is whom we must listen to. That 40 years they had in their hearts in the wilderness, God was not pleased with them. They angered God. They would not let God do his work in them. He brought them out of Egypt. And the whole plan was to plant Christ in them. And they would not allow him. And then when they still got to the land of Canaan, they would not allow him. See, God wants us to be transformed. Wants us to have a change of heart. Mm -hmm. From the dead flesh to the living word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then that we should not think that we are going to offer something to God, God will accept it. Nothing else than you. That is that I am not interested in sacrifice and offering. I am interested in you, first and foremost. Submit yourself to the message. Give yourself to the preaching of the word of God. Give yourself to the reading, the reading the Bible, meditate on the word of God. That is your reasonable service. Any other service is not reasonable. All your prayers without submitting to God, not reasonable. All the offering you may give is not reasonable. But it says if you present yourself, then God will accept you and accept your offering. So when you not offer to God, it will work. When you offer to God, because you have first submitted yourself to God, which God told the word of God. 
If they tell you some God is coming from somewhere else, that is a lie. There's not another God coming than the Word of God. The Word of God has been preached to us from the Bible. And this is why he said we should submit in James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. You see now, they say your God is going to come someday in the future. That is a lie from the pit of hell. James said, submit yourselves, therefore, to God today. Resist the devil that is at the door, and he will flee from you. How do you resist him? Resist him in faith. Believe that you can submit and you should submit yourself to God of the Bible today because he is God. There is not another God. And then when you submit to him and attend to his word and you find out that God owns you and everything concerning you, then you will let him in. In verse 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you if he's far. Why is he saying you should draw near to him? He's here. Where is he? In the Bible. The word of God is in the book. Everything you want to know concerning God is in the book. That's why he says, sacrifice and offerings that would does not. I've come to do that we owe God. I came in the volume of the book that is written of me. He didn't say in them dwells the fullness of the Godhead. No, in him dwells everything about God. In who? In the Bible. When they tell you that there are three persons in God, that is a lie. That is confusion. Who will you submit to? When you now say, draw near to God, how many people will you be drawing near to? Jesus says, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. You will know the truth. How many people will be leading you? It's only one that is to lead us. David said, in Psalm 80, it says, O shepherd of Israel, that led Joseph like a flock, like the shepherd leading his animal. He said that he led Joseph into Egypt and did wonders. Then the psalmist, even David, says, O shepherd of Israel, that led Joseph like a flock, you that dwell between the two cherubim. Then it's only the Bible that dwell between the two cherubim with the mercy seat and shine forth. Say, turn us again, Lord God, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. An offering to God is yourself. That is the only offering God will accept. First and foremost, then every other thing will follow. Say, draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. He said, We are double minded, we will be unstable in all our ways. You mindful of yourself, mindful of God, whoever that is. No, say, so let the same mind which was in Christ be in you. Christ who had one mind. He says, I come in the volume of the book written of me to do your will, oh God. The same thing for you. He says that a body that has prepared me, that's why he's preparing you as a body as well. It's not only Jesus Christ, you are his house. You are that body of God. How can you become a body of God when God enter you? Which God? The God of the Bible. He will enter you. You will enter him. Say, so purify your hands. You double-minded. How can we be mindful of God? We don't know this God. This God is the Bible. 
which liveth and abideth forever, unremovable. You, there's none like him. You can change him. Nothing near to this book. He said to Joshua, this book of the law, Moses, my servant, is dead. He is gone as a human being. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. How? Through this book. Meditate on him daily and let it be in your mouth. Don't let it depart from your mouth. Meditate with your heart and with your mouth. That is how it is commanded. He said, Cain came with an attitude to offer something to God, then he will not offer himself. Then God said, did I say you should offer me sacrifice and offering? If you do as a bet, you will be accepted. And then the religious don't understand that. We think we are going to offer something. He said, many will come to him in that day and say, we did many wonderful things in your name. Say, I never knew you. You were workers of iniquity. You see, he said that there was a very religious man and he feared God, but he didn't know God. His name was Cornelius. And then God sent his angel to warn him to hear word, what we are hearing now, to hear word that the Bible is the Lord of the whole world. He said, sent for Peter, gave him the address. Peter came and he said, I see that God is no respecter of any person. In any nation where he find anybody that fear him, he receive that person. He will accept that person as he accepted Abel. And then he told him that word which God gave to the Israelites is the Lord of all. You know him. He's with you. And God commanded us to preach him. That he is the judge of the living and the dead. Everybody shall appear before this book. And then give account what you have done with this book. Whether you kept him as the Lord or we kept something else. Now there's not another God coming. It says that if we are double-minded and we let anything just enter us, including ourselves, we are not doing well. We are doing wrongly. That the way to do well is to draw near to this God that whosoever comes to this God must believe that he is God, the only true God. And Jesus, whom he has sent. The very word of God that came with that controversy, great is the mystery of the Bible. That the word of God was made flesh says that he came to cleanse us from sin. He came to cleanse us from double-mindedness. He came to clean us from the devil. God. That ancient serpent quite in the heart of the human being. Mm -hmm. And so that he alone will be in you, that you become holy. That's why I say, present your body as a living sacrifice unto God, holy. Why? Because if this holy one enter you, he's holy. His name is Holy, Holy Spirit, Holy Word, Holy One. Should not be double-minded. When this Holy One enter you, then you will not tolerate another. You will not give room for a loitering spirit and faith prophecy. You will not give room to the devil. The meditation of your heart is him. The answer of your tongue is him. Oh, what a beauty. Then you will find out that God is true. This God will do you good all the days of your life. And then you also will say as the psalmist, I've tasted and see that the Lord is good. Please, this is an offering to God. God is asking you for an offering. Now you say you are that offering. So present yourself to God as you continue in this journey. So that you will not come to God empty. Then none of us should come to God empty. We should have what he's, he wants. What he requires from us. He requires Christ and Christ alone. Yes. Hallelujah. Let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart. 
Be acceptable in your sight, O oh, good Lord, level words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Be acceptable in your sight. Hallelujah. Now we want the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart to be accepted in his sight, then he will accept us. How is that possible? He says, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, unto Christ. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So you're going to pray to him and say, God, I have seen that it's me you are looking for. You came to seek and to save the ones who were lost. I was lost, oh Lord, save my soul. I want to be where you are, and then you in me, and I in you. Oh, Father, take me, and take me, and plant your word in me, so that it will reproduce hundredfold. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Almighty Savior, eternal spirit, we pray unto you, God, that you want an offering unto God, that we are that offering. And we are to offer ourselves to God. Thank God for we have heard this word again titled An Offering to God. Amen. Amen. So, as we have heard Cain and Abel, the story we know very well, they came to offer to God. And uh, God has respect for the offering that uh, Abel offered. The reason being that uh, Abel both offered himself and his uh, sacrifice according to the will of God. So as we read in the book of Hebrews, said he came in the volume of the book to do his way. God wants us to do that which is acceptable in his sight. So he wants us because that which is inside us, that which we have received, is uh, said from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So that which that enters Abel, that was what he offered. But Cain, not he entered him. Cain was just religious, not mindful of what God, of uh, the word of God. He did not have the word of God in, in him, nor offer himself. So he was just a believer but not believing in the word of God, but Abel believed the word of God and did according to what God commands, according to the commandment of God. So he said we should present our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. So Cain came with a death sacrifice. So, but uh, even what Cain, uh, Abel offered shows that uh, he understands what God has ordained for them to offer to him, that uh, today God is looking for us. Because if we have not uh, received God, and uh, we go offering and doing things in his name, so we are doing it to please man and not to God, and God will not accept it. So we have to submit ourselves to God, you know, so and uh, we will be able to resist the devil. So if we are out there just going about Satan and find you, you know, so it will not move an inch. So God wants us to, to receive him, present ourselves to him, a living sacrifice. You know, he said, my son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. So if we don't give our, ourselves to God, we cannot know how God does things or what God accepts. So I want us to begin to pray and thank God that God has heard your word. Help me to do that which you have commanded. Help me to be able to offer that which is acceptable. Even myself, if I cannot offer myself, how can I be offering to God? It cannot come to God. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Almighty Heavenly Father, Father heaven, we pray unto you, God, as you have taught us you. that we have to offer ourselves first to God, you, then we can Lord, offer Lord, what is acceptable, Lord, what you will receive, a sweet Sabbath. Our prayer will be acceptable when we offer ourselves to you. When we submit to the word of God, we draw near to God, we draw near to our mind, God. 